everyone! So this video is going to be on how to prioritize your time. Make time for everything that you want to do. Um, lately I've been getting heaps of questions on things like, um, I don't have enough time to do exercise. You know, I have a job, I have study, I'm in year 11 or year 12, I have a social life, I have family. Like, there's no time to eat well or exercise. Um, but I really want to lose weight. So, to me, by saying all those, I guess, excuses, and then saying I really want you to lose weight, doesn't make sense in my head, because I feel like a lot of the time, um, girls aren't putting their priorities in order. They're not, um, I guess, putting labels on what they want best. I don't know if that just made sense, but pretty much, um, what I'm going to talk about now is how to actually prioritize your time so you know you're giving enough time to the things that you want and less time to things that you don't think are so important. Um, for example, my priorities right now, because I'm in year 11 this year, I have two years left and I want to get the best, um, I guess, OP, which is kind of like an end of achievement that I can get. Um, I am aiming for a 1, 2 or 3, like that's what I'm aiming for. Um, so I'm going to put study before everything else. That's just what I've decided personally and what I've actually um, thought about for a while and I really am going to put study, assignments, exams above everything. Above fitness, above family, above friends. That's what I'm going to do because that I know that if I put effort now, I will be really thankful in the future. Alright, so second on my priorities um, is of course I'm going to put my family and I guess a little bit of friend time. Like I'm not going to be, like I'm still going to be a human, I'm still going to interact so that's going to be Oh, my second priority. However, that isn't my social life. I'm not putting that then. This is just like family and close friends. Um, and then my third priority is, of course, fitness and health and this YouTube channel and my blog and all that stuff, which I love doing. That is my passion. But right now, because I'm in year 11 and 12, I am putting that third. Um, and then my fourth priority is, of course, my job, which I love, which is working at a little um, boutique in Noosa, and I just love it. And of course that's my income right now, so that's my fourth priority. And that leads me to um, the last, which is, I guess, my social life. And that's like parties, even like outings, just things that um, are fun. Um, that's going last in my priority list. Um, only because, as I said before, I think that um, school and then family and then work and then fitness, they're all so much more important to me right now. Um, being 16 and knowing what I want to do for my future. I'm not saying you have to have the same priorities as me, I'm just telling you what I have and how I really know what I want and I really want you guys to actually write down your priorities in a list of an order because then when it comes to planning out your days and actually making time for things, you know you're making time for the right things and so of course you'd be happier. Okay, so once you've written out your priorities, which I really want you guys to do because I do think that's the key for time management, I'm next going to get you guys to actually um, make realistic goals slash planning. Now, I know goals sounds like, ah, oh, like, oh, everyone makes goals and no one achieves them, but I write, um, I guess, little goals slash what I have to do each day, each morning, the night before, a week before. I am constantly planning my days. Like, some people say it's a bit too much, but it works for me. Like, I'll be, I guess, sitting in class on a Monday morning and I'm planning the rest of my afternoons. I'm like, yep, I'm going to get home at 3.30. I'm going to do math for an hour, English um, assignment for an hour, then I'm going to go for a jog. Um, and then I'm going to come home, have a shower, eat. Then I'm going to do my drama assignment. Like, I'm planning, like, my whole afternoon from times. Um, and I guess that is a little bit weird, but that's how I fit everything in. That's how I stay motivated. That's how I stay organized. And that's how I get everything I want to do done and easily. Um... So if you're making your plans, I really want them to be realistic. I still go through phases where I'll put down like heaps of study and I just know in the back of my mind that I won't do it. So when it comes to it, I get disappointed, I feel like a failure, all that kind of stuff. So when you're planning your days, um, make them realistic. Know that you will do them and that they are achievable for that day. Okay, so so far we've got, you've got to make your priorities and you've got to make achievable goals. And I think that is the essence of time management. I think if you know what you want to do and put them in an order, so then you can really have a strong mindset on your priorities and then you can plan them for the day. I think that is crucial. Um, it probably won't work for everyone. Every, not everyone's like me. I know that. 
but this is what I do. And I also just want to mention that when you're planning your days to actually make them fun, um, I am one of those people that I do really want to get A's and I'm one of those girls that um, do put in so much effort to do that. But, um, and I'm not saying you have to do that, I'm just saying that's what I do. Um, but to do that, I actually um, make sure I'm having fun as well. Like I make sure I'm having a balance of things. So say in an afternoon, I might come home from school, it's like 3.30, um, and I might answer some questions on Tumblr, you know, or get back to people on YouTube because that's what I really am loving to do right now. That's like my fun time. Um, and then after, say, after half an hour of that, it's like four o'clock, I might, um, you know, make a little snack, take a photo of it, whatever, like what I'm doing for afternoons. So that's, again, that's easy, fun and planned food. And so then after I've eaten that, I might just sit down and do some homework for maybe an hour to two hours. Um, I normally get a little bit done then, and so that's about 6 o'clock when um, I'm ready to do some workouts. So I might go for a sprint jog, or a walk, or some things in my room, you know, like whatever. I feel like I have heaps of time. So I'm finished that by about 6.37, and at 7 I'll have a shower, and then at like 7.30 I'll have dinner, and then at about 8 I can come back on Tumblr, do some more homework. Like I have, I feel like when I plan my days, I have so much more time and so much more enjoyment, um, especially after school, because I feel like that's when a lot of people just sit back and watch TV and you don't really get a lot done. Um, so I hope that helps with time management. I really hope that you girls do make priorities, know in your mind what you want to do and what you want to get, what you want to achieve during the day. Like, what are, you, what are your goals for the day? What do you want to get done? Like, I make goals like I'm going to make a video today, and when I do it, I feel good. So... I really want you guys to do that, plan your days so you can have time for health and fitness, so you can have time for study, so you can have time for social life if that's what you want to do. Um, yeah, so I really hope that helps. Thank you all for watching.